If Alpe d'Huez is the most famous climb in the Tour de France, then Mont Ventoux is surely the most infamous. Now that's partly because it's 20 kilometers long and at an average gradient of 7.5%, but it's also partly due to the fact that on these very slopes, the British cyclist Tom Simpson lost his life 47 years ago. Simpson's life and career is hugely significant to British cycling history. He remains the only Englishman to have won the Tour of Flanders and the Tour of Lombardy. But it is his death that really resonates with the global cycling community. Tom Simpson died as a result of extreme dehydration, having taken a potent cocktail of both amphetamines and brandy. As was prevalent at the time, he pushed his physical boundaries by doping. His death ushered in a change in the attitude towards doping at the time, and indeed in the fight to ban it, which lasted for about 20 years. In the next 20 years that followed, however, some of those lessons seem to have been forgotten. And even now, in the new era of cycling, whereby it seems to be largely clean, there are still some people willing to risk it all, as we've seen from the new rash of positive tests in far-flung cycling communities for a drug called GW1516, which is so harmful in its effects that it never actually got beyond trials on rats in the laboratory. It raises a really important question, therefore, that just how much are people willing to risk in the pursuit of success and glory in the sporting arena? Fortunately, the steady procession of international cycling fans here today is testament to the fact that Tom Simpson's legacy still lives on. And from his memorial here, an agonising one kilometre short of the summit of Mont Ventoux, there's plenty to reflect on. So what do you think about the pressure that these athletes are under? Is it heroic or is it tragic? Let us know in the comments section down below. The Tour de France. It's awarded to the rider who has the lowest aggregate time and is ultimately won by the rider who took the least amount of time to complete all the stages. It's important to remember that stage 